Welcome to the NFL Week 3 Sunday Slate Breakdown, where we bring you coverage of every single game on Sunday, uh, except for Sunday Night Football, which you can find in a different video. I want to say before we get into it, thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel. Hit, hit 10,000 subscribers this past week. Very excited about that. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. You get notified for when all of our content comes out. Um, let's move on to the next game. This is the Bears are too depressing to talk about. Gonna be the Panthers at the Seahawks, another team coming off of Monday Monday Night Football game, traveling cross country to the West Coast to face the Seahawks. Bryce Young has been not great to start a, to start the season, to say the least. Um, could be a, a potential bounce back spot for him, though. Seahawks are dead last in drop back success rate allowed so far, and it's a much easier defense for him to face after playing the Falcons and Saints so far. Cody, I'll go to you first. You faded Bryce Young last last week. Sort of, I guess you bet his under him. interception. You bet his under on passing I, yards. Um, oh, yeah, that, but I, I was more so, I was about to reference, I backed the no uh, interceptions, and sure. holy cow, that was one of the most fun sweats I've ever had. <laughs> that thing should have been busted like four separate times, including the one where, uh, who was, was it Thielen who uh, reached back and got that ball out of the corner's hands? That was, yeah. oh, I was screaming for joy. That was awesome. Um, as for this game, it's tough. It's tough. Uh... I mean, we saw Geno. I mean, the Lions struggle with generating a pass rush. Oh, well, no, they are good at generating a pass rush. They're bad at completing the pass rush. Um, and we saw that with Geno in a collapsing pocket. Now, he didn't play a typical Geno game where he's um, slinging it, um, but you can't ignore the talent that they have and what they can be. Now, the issue is, is the Panthers' defense is really sleeping by as a very respectable unit. Um, they're going to be a step up from the Lions defense. I can tell you that for free. Um, but is it enough where they can slow them down and then capitalize on the other end? I don't think so. But I'm, it's not enough for me to take another side. A very light card this week. Um, this Panthers offense, it's abysmal. Uh, offensive line, horrible. Pass catching unit, horrible. Really, their only bright spot is Miles Sanders. And I'm sorry, one man's not going to do it, especially at running back. Um so it, it, it's tough. Um, nothing really positive to say about the Seahawks defense. They were absolutely ran through, um, especially early on in the first half. But the Panthers just don't pose the same issue on offense that the the Lions do. They're just they're such an anemic unit. And now now you potentially don't even have Bryce Young going into this game. Um, is Andy Dalton an upgrade? Probably at, at this point. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's, there's so many variables on both sides. It's, I, I don't have enough conviction. We were so high on the Seahawks and they're just playing so underwhelming for kind of what we saw. I'm more so, I lean towards, I want to see them try to get back into form and I, the Panthers just don't have enough for me to back them on that end. So this is a pass for me. Yeah, it's, it's, I wish the Panthers were at home and not playing off of a short week because I wouldn't mind taking them as a dog against the Seahawks team that has some issues, but Given the travel spot, given the short week, it's it's tough for me to, to find a way to back them here. They had nine first downs until garbage time, until that late drive against the Saints last week. Like This offense just isn't functional, and it's not totally Bryce Young's fault. They just don't have any receivers who can separate right now, and their offensive line has been pretty poor. So, um, I don't know, Schwartz, anything from you on this game? What a backdoor, by the way. What a oh, yeah. backdoor. Like, oh, wow. I, yeah, I should, yeah, I should say that. Um, got extremely lucky to, to push my plus three on the Panthers <laughs> last week. So that was fun. Uh, Schwartz, anything from you on this game? Not a ton. I mean, you guys hit a lot of it. They, they, it's. I, I'm on the Seahawks here. I'm seeing about six points. They should win by a touchdown. We've talked. You guys talked the heck out of the Panthers' offense. It's it's a complete non-factor. And the it, it will be a tougher defensive matchup than the Lions were. But Seahawks' offense got back into a groove a little bit. Did a little bit of what made them look good last year. Uh, Geno Smith, 32 of 41, 328 yards two touchdowns and no picks I mean that's just the kind of stuff you love to see um but yeah the the Panthers have just done very very little offensively to make me think that they can put up enough points to cover this spread and keep it within a touchdown so yeah give me Seahawks at uh, special oh you guys talked about the travel spot 12th man Seattle really tough place to play uh whether or not it's Bryce but you definitely don't love a rookie going in there so I'm gonna be back in the Seahawks here yeah, worth noting that this is probably a good buy spot for DK Metcalf. Uh, he was tackled to the one-yard line last week, so probably should have scored a touchdown. And the Panthers are without J.C. Horn, so their secondary is a little bit more limited. We saw some of those Saints receivers bust free against them last week, so could be a big DK game. Um, and yeah, that'll do it for us today.
Thanks again uh, for watching. Please like and subscribe. Helps us out a ton. Uh, check out our Sunday Night Football content for which should be an interesting game between the Raiders and Steelers in that one. And we will have a ton more content coming at you very soon. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we hope you enjoy the games.